Hey you guys, it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you 10 different ways to use decorative stickers in your planner. So stay tuned if you wanna check it out. some random older planner pages and I pulled out a big stack of sticker books. I'm going to use some of my wrong wrong sticker books for this and show you 10 different ways to use up some of those decorative stickers that you're not sure how to use or you maybe you have an abundance of them and I'll be sure and include my wrong wrong affiliate link in the description and you can always use code Michelle10 to save 10% off on your purchase. All right, so the first way is to use icon stickers to fill in boxes to make them almost like a decorative box. So I grabbed Mom Life from Wrong Wrong, and I'm gonna flip to where there are a lot of the little icon stickers. Okay, say like these coffees, I've got a lot of these. So I could do, say if I was doing a coffee theme spread or even if I wasn't, I could put it beside a quote that said something like, but first coffee, like here we go. going to put them down all around, but I am going to trim them. So you could do like an entire spread like this. Do almost like a checkerboard design. And then just so I can get a different coffee, I'm gonna pull out I can and I will. Let's do like this little matcha latte. So you could just fill in the whole box. You wouldn't even have to have the quote, but I thought that was cute since there was all coffee cups around it. And then you could do, you know, coffee in these or just leave it as the single decorative. Okay, another example of that, I pulled out I Can and I Will, and I've got some ice cream cones here. So say if this was on a different planner spread. and just fill it in with the little different ice creams. Got one there and there. So you get the drift, you could just do that with any little icons that you have an abundance of. And it makes a really cute, it almost looks like a little printed box. It's a cute, fun element. All right, the second way is to use decorative strips. You know, those strips that kind of look like washi, but they're really a decorative sticker as a backdrop for another decorative sticker. So I'm going to grab You Go Girl. Like this yellow zebra. And then I'm going to use this girl wearing the yellow shirt. See, now that's kind of a backdrop for her. So then we've created just a really cute little kind of a focal point, or, and I could add these little flowers to make it even more pronounced, and then maybe put a box right here. That would be really cute. 
or a quote like this, yes, you can. The third way is to you to make a functional box decorative. So say you've got a blank box that you're gonna use like this goals one, then I'm gonna put this beside it, this beautiful little flat piece. Then on the other side, I'm gonna use even more to jazz it up. I'm gonna do the little glasses. And then to even add more onto it, I could put this today sticker there. So now I have a cute little area that's very decorative, but also very functional. So that is number three. All right, and then the next way is to use them as a border. So obviously you can do flowers like that, but I did a really cute list that I love how it turned out. Let me grab a piece of just filler paper. Okay, I've got a piece of just dot grid paper here. I'm gonna grab the girls sticker book because I love to use just like a row of girls. It just screams out girl power. So I'm gonna grab some of these ladies and start placing them along the bottom. I did this for a list last year of planners I wanted to meet at Go Wild and I just did a row of all the girls and I love how it turned out. So this is a great way to use, uh, use some of your people's stickers. Just put them in a little row there, all different shapes, skin tones, body types. I just love it. Here's a girl in overalls. All right. This would be cute to do for like a girl's night list or memory keeping spread or just your regular planner spread. I just love how that looks with all the different girls to hanging out together. Next is to use them as a page anchor and I do this all the time. It's pretty basic, but start if you start off your spread with something decorative in both corners, it kind of sets the tone for the spread and get, kicks it off. Like if you're ever just kind of stumped, pick out a sticker book and pick out your like anchor stickers for the sides or even sometimes I'll do all four corners and the rest will just kind of fall into place. So we could start with this beautiful sticker and I can and I will to kind of anchor our page and get it kicked off and it even has a quote on it. Then on the other side I would pull up something else to kind of tie it in so there's some beautiful flowers in here right here. That I could use right on the other side. And see how that sort of kicks the spread off. It's got the same flowers. Okay, and the next way is to use the decorative strips as a full box. So in this same book, I've got like these strips. And there, you could put any patterns together, do the same pattern, but I'm gonna use these for an example. So I'm gonna put the dots on the left first.
So see now we have a full box, like a printed box, and you could go back and also combine that with, with using strips as a backdrop and put one of these really cute girls on there. Like this one. A super cute way to showcase one of the girls and also add a really fun decorative element to your planner. So the next one is to use your decorative stickers as a bookmark. Okay, for this one, I'm just pulling out a piece of cream cardstock and the big fashion sticker book that's a collab with Rong Rong and Minji Kong. And I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this to size, just to however wide you want your bookmark to be. And I want it to be a little taller than my planner pages. kind of cut a little notch in it so it has like a little tab that sticks up. Just like that. And next I'm just going to go ahead and punch it. Okay. There's a really cute handbag back here that says behind every successful woman is a fabulous bag. So I'm going to let that. I think I'll put it, put the quote toward the top and just kind of centered and then over here on another page, there are some really fabulous bags. Let's do this leopard print for sure. And this color block one, how cute. Let's do the purple one. All right, and I'm gonna, gonna just continue that on the back. So I'm just gonna keep doing these beautiful bags. Cute. And let's do this sort of coral one. No, wait, let's do the black like messenger bag and then the coral one. We'll just do this off white one. And then you wouldn't even have to laminate it, but I'm going to just to make sure it lasts a long time. So I've just got a laminator I've had for a long time and a, a laminating sleeve. I'll put that in there. I'm gonna trim off the excess so I can save it. I'm just gonna send it through and let it cool. I usually send things through twice that I'm laminating. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that cool and we'll come back to it. So the next one is to create a scene in your planner. This is a good way to use your decorative stickers. So for that one, I'm gonna use the Plant Lady sticker pack. And I'm just gonna use a lot of these elements in here. I love this one. The lady watering her plants or taking care of her plant, listening to music. Okay, and then, oh, let's use this one over here too. And y'all, I'm obsessed with this chair, so cute. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put that right there next to her. 
And over here by this other plant, I'm gonna do this one. Just make it look really homey, like it's a scene in someone's apartment or house. And then got to have a little kitten snuggled up. Then I'm just gonna to top it off with this is my jungle quote. And it just made a cute little homey scene. So that's a good way to use your decorative stickers. And the next way I wanna show you that I like to do is turning a plain box into a decorative element. So for that, I'm gonna grab Heels and Hustle. There are some little boxes back here that are just simple with no design. I'm gonna grab this gold one. Right on my planner page. And then you could either, let's do two different ones. So for the top one, I'll use one of these ladies holding the purse. And I've got a few little gold dots or you could just do, use a pen. That's another way to use a decorative sticker that's cute. And then in this one, let's do something different. We could do, we could do just a couple of little fun items like that. And then you could do something like this little flag coming across it that says sleep in. I like finding little creative uses for these cute icon stickers. And the next way I have is to make like a themed list. So I've got just, this was a piece of full sheet of paper that I just trimmed off. I'm gonna grab the self-love sticker book. Say we wanted to make a self-care list of self-care tasks that we can look at easily when we need something to something to do to take care of ourselves. So I'm gonna put this at the top as our title. And, or I've made lists like shopping, spring shopping list and use lots of the little spring clothing elements. You could do a cleaning list and use all the little cleaning stickers, or if you're into sewing or baking, uh, but I'm gonna do, do this one as self-care. So I've got some scraps here that I've already cut that will be perfect for this. Put that right over there. Let's do these like spa stones. And then we could do like a rolled up towel. Okay, then we could do this little water bottle up here with the limes in it. How cute is that? We just have some things falling down the page. We get our little like, Fitbit and some healthy food. more healthy food up there like that radish. I'll 
just use that scrap there. But just a good way to use up a lot of your decorative stickers. So that is 10. I could keep going on and on. I'm having so much fun. Okay, so here's our bookmark. I'm gonna trim that down. Just leave a little on the sides. And then up here, I'm just gonna hand trim it. And you can use a corner rounder or just do this by hand too. Then I'm just gonna punch it. And now it's ready to go in my planner. I love making customized like bookmarks and dash mark dashboards. So that is that. And then there was our little self-care list and the scenes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.